The New Testament uh, also states that true Christians can drink poison, Matthew, Mark chapter 16, and not be harmed. Uh, as far as the mark, that comes from uh, the end of Mark, which practically every scholar, uh, every Bible scholar in, in the world says was not authentic, um, that this was a later edition, 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 uh, 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 that this was a later edition. So here we can see that David would himself agree that the verses after Mark chapter 16 verse 8 are later edition. Which means that David would himself agree that his Bible is corrupted and distorted. Next here tonight, the death of a famous preacher whose faith centered on a passage in the Bible promising protection from snakes. A rattlesnake took his life. And we've been reporting on this church for a long time. So now we're going to show you some images from behind closed doors. Here's ABC's Steve Osansami. Pastor Jamie Coots was always ready to meet Jesus. And the bite that killed him happened at church with his son and family watching. The snake that bit him, we've been carrying it to church now for about four months. He always told me, you get bit, you either die at home or God brings you through. The preacher himself walked us through his world last year, where believers speak in tongues. To many outsiders, it doesn't make sense using poisonous snakes to worship God. That's the singing of a rattlesnake. These Pentecostal families and their hit reality series, Snake Salvation, from National Geographic. There are more than a hundred of these small churches across Appalachia, all fighting with state and local authorities. Their pastors arrested for breaking the law, using deadly snakes in worship. The snake is, is nothing more than that to me. It's just a tool that, you know, is used in the Bible. A verse from the book of Mark defines their faith. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. True believers like Coots refuse treatment when the snakes bite. For the pastor, that was at least eight times. We got the call to come back that he had passed away. Doctors say bite victims must always survive when they get medical help immediately. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta. And Coots' son will take over the church and will still use snakes.